Please, no! Oh, it's you, Corvo. I think the stars. We all thought you'd been killed. Except for Samuel. He seemed sure you'd survived. I saw him on the river shortly before the killing began. He was smart enough not to come ashore. But I'll bet he's still out there. Looking for you is my guess. Havelock called us into the yard. But I wasn't feeling well. I just watched from the attic. The Admiral brought his cutlass. He stuck Wallace through the eye with it. Then he did Lydia. Calissa he shot in the back with his pistol. Emily saw it all. Havelock kept yelling something about the things he'd done and how no one could ever know. Pendleton wouldn't even look anyone in the face. They said it was time for Sokolov and went off to his cage. I don't know what happened after that. Emily was there when the killing started. Poor child. I hope she hit her eyes. The Admiral said that Martin was right. I guess they talked about it. And they started to worry they'd get executed for all that they'd done, going after the Lord Regent and his allies. I suppose it's why they poisoned you too. Heavens dies. Lydia would squeal on me at the end. She just told Havelock to screw himself. And died. Lydia's the only one who ever showed me any kindness. I don't think the Admiral actually knew I existed. He's long gone. With a mask in the river, left town. That's what a rational person would do. Not this guy. You have to understand the criminal mind. I hear they had to hide the Caldwin girl from him the whole time they were working with him. Men are still trying to penetrate the workshop. Close the light. We think huh? Piero job was inside.
option to converse with someone on my own level. Couldn't agree more. Your expulsion from the Academy was a crime against natural philosophy itself. Which I might have pointed out at the time. But it's pointless to hold a grudge. I want to ask- Corvo, good to see that you still breathe. The city would not be the same if you were not with us. I've completed Piero's work on an arc pylon, but only just. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious, or they can be reduced to ashes. I've attuned it so that we will be safe from the functions of the device. It will only trigger in the presence of our enemies. This arc pylon is more powerful than the older design. It will function at a greater range, striking down our foes while ignoring us. I need my final sequence, which is recorded in the blueprint for this device. Havelock was inspecting it before the killing started. Return the blueprint to me. It was in his bedroom before he left. Hopefully, it's still there. You may navigate the fields of battle with E. I'll make what you need as long as I have the necessary materials. No one making rounds over here. This better not be a huh? joke. What the fuck? Guards! Clear! 
I speculated this might happen. Astonishing! The Arc Pylon is complete. Now to activate it. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious. Or they can be reduced to ashes. What is your opinion, Corvo? As you wish, Corvo, we will be far away before any of them regain their senses. All is ready, Corvo. All that remains is plugging in a whale oil tank to power it. Will you do the honors? When this arc pylon is charged, no one will dare come near us. beyond my greatest expectations. It defies description. A device like this will ensure Dunwall's security for a century. Well, Corvo, I hope we can be considered colleagues again. You were condemned. I was kidnapped. Men like us rise above such things. As to the good Admiral, I believe men such as Havelock start with high-minded intentions. Same with Martin, and maybe even Pendleton, though I suspect he was just lazy. But no one is prepared for the sheer seductive influence of being so close to real power. We once discussed a system of signals to be used in Emily's tower for communication across the river. I wonder if he remembers that.
Uncle Kurnow, I hope you find this. I'm devastated. The girl I've been caring for is gone. Emily is her name. Yes, that Emily. Daughter to the Empress. She's gone. They took her away in a boat this morning. I don't know where, and her hair hadn't been combed. I worry who will look after her. I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. I'd find you here. It never pays to bet against you, does it? I saw the signal. I knew you'd be back, Corvo. I knew it. We should start off soon. I've been feeling something in my bones, and if it's plague, well, I can't be counted on to drive this boat much longer. Good. Then it's one more trip across the river to where it meets the sea. That's where the Lord Regent was building his new lighthouse. Ought to be something to see.